inspirations to inspire and for creating a series of videos on how to inspire the new India. In this video, I'm going to spend five minutes talking about my own journey and with specific emphasis on how I achieved success by facing rejection, by facing failure and coming back on top. Now, a lot of these stories I put in my book, Spring, Bouncing Back from Rejection, as you can see on the screen. So let me get on and tell you a few stories from the book to hopefully help young people uh, figure out a way of facing rejection and failure. Because when I talk to young people, I find them coming to me with the question that, look, you know, uh, you probably never face the kind of rejection which we are going to face. Uh, and I keep telling them, no, I've had more than my share of rejection. So let me, in my career, it's now more than 40 years I've been working. Uh, Full-time career ended about five years ago. And I'm consulting now. Before that, I held senior positions in marketing. And of course, I was the CEO of a large advertising agency. But it all did not start uh, on, on a, as a bed of roses. Uh, the first time uh, I applied for a job, uh, out of fresh out of IIT at the placement season IIT 1977 uh, I got rejected by the company I applied to uh, which was in the Sun Lever a kind of a dream company uh, but then I realized when I went back and started thinking in my hostel room that I had actually done a very bad job of answering their questions so the next time I met the interview team from I uh, from in the Sun Lever was when I was in I am Calcutta at that time it was for a summer internship and I thought you know, I was very well prepared, but you know, I went through the final round and the last two people, uh, I got shot down at the last stage. So this kind of got me thinking that, you know, uh, am I cut out for this job or should I think differently? So, and I used the power of uh, reframing and I said, look, I need to look at a new direction to get into. And then that got me to look at something else, very different. Uh, I applied to a company in Kolkata. Uh, I wanted a summer assignment in Kolkata. I joined this company called Rediffusion, which wanted someone in Kolkata. I ended up discovering the joy of advertising and I spent a long, long time in advertising before I went into marketing and I came back. Now, the lesson here is, you know, rejection is a, is a standard thing which will happen. However much we prepare, we will be faced with some form of rejection or the other. The most successful startups today have faced rejection, not once, multiple times. In fact, in my book, I, I talk about one particular startup which I was advising, which went through 100 rejections. Authors have gone through rejection, whether it is Jeffrey Archer or our own Amish Tripathi, they face rejection. Musicians have gone through rejection, including Beatles, right? Space scientists, have faced rejection and of course academics have faced a lot of rejection so what do you do when you're hit by a rejection my simple formula which i've explained in my book is that however prepared you are however however you think you deserve the assignment however you think you're confident of getting it be clear you may get rejected so you have to go positive, you have to go very positive into the job, into the interview, into the assignment, into the presentation, but be ready, you may get rejected. So when you get rejected, you cannot crumble. So the first step is be ready to face rejection, facing rejection, that's the first part. The second is once you're hit by a rejection, then you need to process that rejection, what happened? And I have this uh, famous statement which I make that, you know, it's not about you. Uh, they are not rejecting you. They are rejecting your proposal. They are rejecting your CV. They are rejecting your idea. So learn to process what happened. And it could quite possible that the person meeting you was having a bad headache and you got rejected, right? So that is the second step, which is uh, how to process the rejection. The third, and I think the most important one, is how do you learn Every rejection holds stories. Every rejection holds truths which we need to learn. So if we can face, process, learn, we will all become 
that much better. We will be able to do things much better and therefore achieve success which we, which we think we fully deserve and we deserve that success. So let me wish all of you all the very best and a very happy new year.